Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the press conference with Spain coach Jorge Bilda. We're going to start with the questions. Good evening, Jorge. It's difficult to speak straight after being knocked out, but there were changes in midfield and you were speaking to the players at the end of the game. What message did you want to give them? Good evening, everyone. It's a disappointing defeat and disappointing to go out of this competition. If there's a good way to lose, I think it's by playing the sort of game that my players have done tonight. We are all very proud of what we saw out on the pitch. Everyone has improved. We gave everything. It wasn't to be. And now we have to keep our heads held high and we'll analyse it further going forward. We have a very good team here. There's a bright future ahead based on what we've seen at this tournament. It's a difficult day for us. We'll have to digest it over the next few days and then assess where we can improve. There are areas for improvement. We've done well in many areas. And then when there are big moments in the future, we hope that we can avoid the sorts of setbacks that we've had this time around. With the game under control, did you see yourselves in the semi-finals with just 10 minutes left? There were lots of complaints after England equalised. Do you think there was a foul on Irene Paredes? When there are just a few minutes left, you're thinking about what you can do not to concede a goal. Then a cross came in and the ball was knocked down. They equalised and we went into extra time from the dugout I didn't have a clear view I haven't had a chance to see it back we can take the good performance by our players and there's a bright future ahead good evening Jorge sorry about the defeat Your initial lineup went, went very well. The, the team scored the opening goal and then changed for a more defensive style, which is possibly not the Spanish way. What were you looking to do with those changes in the second half? And you seemed to, t to take off the players with the most goal threat. We scored the goal but then we were losing possession and finding it hard in midfield to get the ball. England were looking dangerous from the wide areas and from corners, so we took off players who we thought couldn't help us much in those areas. Everyone did very well and performed at a high level. The initial approach was to keep the ball and we would have liked to have had it even more. I think the key would have been scoring a second goal to finish off the game. It wasn't possible, and that led to what happened afterwards. Any more questions? I'd like to ask about Amayur Sariegi. She came on, had a chance. Do you feel, do you regret not playing her more in this tournament? Well, it is a shame. First of all, we have to digest everything and then we can look at ifs and buts. We have to assess all of that with the coaching staff. We'll look at the things we've done well. We'll look at the things that we can do better and there are certainly many of them and then we will move forward. If there are no more questions, that's all. Thank you very much, everyone.